So let's do an example. Um, I took an example of dinosaurs because I like dinosaurs. Uh, so Tyrannosaurus rex heights are normally distributed with a mean of 5.5 meters and a standard deviation of 0 0.5. Um, I like this little joke here. If oil is made from decomposed dinosaurs, not all of it, very small portion, but let's just say, and plastic is made from oil, are plastic dinosaurs made from real dinosaurs? So let's look at this. What's, uh, so we've got this information here. We've got, let me just write it down here. We've got that the mean is 5.5. We've got that the standard deviation is 0 0.5. And if we're saying here, what's the probability of being attacked? Keep in mind, we're assuming a lot of things. First, uh, there's no dinosaurs, so uh, not alive ones at least. So this is ridiculous. Uh, we're assuming that all T-Rexes would attack you anyway. There's a lot of things wrong with this question, but it doesn't matter. The whole point is you, if you're given a mean and a standard deviation, you can solve whatever you like, as long as they're normally distributed. So for example, here, we're asked, what's the probability of being attacked by a T-Rex with a height less than five meters? If we really want to draw this, we actually could. We could draw this. So there's my normal distribution. I know that this right here is 5.5. I know that these values right here, this is one standard deviation above and below. So this would be 6 because it's 0.5 above that. This right here is 5. And the question is we want to know what's the probability of being attacked by one basically here or less. So we need to do this on our calculator, don't we? So we're going to use normal CDF, and you can even write it just like this on an exam. And you write down the minimum. Now here's the problem is, what's the minimum number here? You can put in whatever you want. I suggest just put in a, a really large negative number. It doesn't matter too much. You can put in like 1 times 10 to the 99 if you want. Uh, the maximum will be this. The mean will be 5.5. And the standard deviation will be 0 0.5. And this is the min. This is the max. Uh, whoops, max. Let's see if this works. So I get out my trusty calculator. Where are you? There we go. Oh, hello, calculator. Oh, bring it down here. There we go. So I'm going to do exactly this here. So I'm going to open up my calculator. I press menu. I go to uh, statistics, distributions, normal CDF. My smallest value, I mean, I could have put that. I mean, it's not so bad. Just put in minus, just, just put a big, big negative number. Uh, then I press tab. My upper bound, though, is 5. My mean is 5.5, and my standard deviation is 0 0.5. I scroll down, and I say go. Tells me the area under the curve is 0 0.158. If we want three significant figures, we do. Then we put in 0 0.159. So that would be the answer here, 0 0.159. Uh, and this would be, that would be the probability. Now we can do the second part as well. So what's the probability of being attacked by a T-Rex uh, with a height between these two? That we can of course do. I mean, just in case you want to see the diagram of it, I'm just going to try to draw it again. So this is 5.5, this over here is 6, this over here is 5. That's sort of the important stuff here. If we want it between 5.2 and 6.3, we can do that. So I don't know, somewhere maybe here and somewhere over here. So we want this area here. Well, again, we want normal CDF. Can you think what we put in for the minimum this time? Hopefully you know, put in 5.2. Your maximum should be 6.3. Your mean is still 5.5, and your standard deviation is still 0 0.5. Let's see if this works. So again, let's go ask for help from our calculator. So I do a menu. Of course, I could have just gone up and grabbed that one. I just want to show you each time how to get it. So stats, distributions, normal CDF. So again, I put in my minimum, which is 5.2 this time. My maximum, which is 6.3. My mean is 5.5, and my standard deviation is 0 0.5. Away I go. I press enter, and I get 0 0.671 if I want three significant figures. So 0 0.671. That's it. So to see how easy this can actually be, if you understand normal distributions, you can actually solve just about any of these kinds of questions. Normal CDF is your friend. You need to understand about the minimum, the maximum, the mean, and the standard deviation. Throw that stuff in your calculator, and it tells you the area under the curve, which is the probability.